high tan here. GPS always causes a lot of problems in a build and uh, especially in INAV, the GPS and compass is much more sensitive compared to if you install beta flight and emu flight. So through this video, I'm just going to run through my specific problem. Hopefully you can apply it for yours as well. Let's fix our GPS over here. So a few things about my build is my GPS is currently wired at the back right of the flight controller over here. The wires actually go in between the two ESCs and it pops out at the back here, meeting the GPS all the way at the back. I have made sure that I have selected the correct magnetometer sensor. In the ports tab, I have made sure my GPS is set to GPS. It is attached to UART number 2. My data protocol actually writes NMEA and in the GPS tab, it, I set it, whenever I set it to NMEA, it kind of um, weirds out. The GPS would be on for one minute and then disconnects for 10 seconds and returns back for another minute and disconnects uh, every 10 seconds. So that's what I was experiencing, but at the moment I just change it to U blocks. Even though it's going against the recommended data protocol, so far it's worked out for me. You can try it out yourself and hopefully it solves your problem as well. Next, I want to observe the magnetometer because it's still showing in red even when I plug in my LiPo. First things first is I'm going to get the compass out of here and into the open. Now that my GPS unit is out of the quad, I'm just going to plug it in and see whether I still get the same error message. Yep, and just like that, magnetometer just turned blue. I got this feeling that um, the fact that it was crossing through here and the back here, there's just a lot of uh, electrical interference from this back corner over here. So once I isolated the GPS unit outside of the circuit board radius, it kind of works out better and it's not on red anymore. So after all your hardware is okay, just make sure that your heading is correct. So on your phone, find the Compass app and once it's open, place your phone on the drone facing forward like this. My phone currently reads about 331 degrees. And now when I check on my INAV, in the setup tab, the reading is about 60. So my phone's 331 degrees versus this 60 degrees, so my heading is actually wrong. And where you can change the heading is actually at the configuration tab right here. Now this drop down menu of the magnetometer alignment is what you want to just keep clicking these numbers and checking back on the setup tab. And once the heading of the INAV gets to about the same numbers, that shows that your heading is aligned. And I'm just going to bring this out for a spin. Now hopefully my return to home as well as position hole works effectively. I hope following my step fixed your GPS as well. If not, I'm just gonna put some uh, keywords over here on topics you could search. Some other keywords that might lead you to solutions that you can read up on or watch more YouTube videos about. But of course, don't forget to take a break once in a while. These things can get pretty frustrating, especially the GPS versus INAF thing. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching.